Thank you, everybody, and uh, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, there's only me and a couple of other presentations standing between you and a beer, so I won't keep you too long. Um, so firstly, I'm from Siemens. Uh, people know Siemens for a whole range of different things, from uh, cooker hoods to making trains to making MRI machines. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, don't do any of those things, but I do work for a part of the business that helps companies transform the everyday, and we help them by doing this by enabling them to innovate faster. <clears throat> and this includes some of the coolest companies on the planet, like Nautilus, Red Bull Racing, and also Sunseeker here. So how do we do that? Well, the part of the business of Siemens that I work for, we have a platform of software for industry, for design, manufacture, electronics, simulation, uh, and it's called Siemens Accelerator. And even more down in the weeds, uh, the part of the business that I work for is the product engineering division. And we have a tool, a CAD tool called NX. And for those of you that don't know, CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. And we hear a lot of companies talking about their digital twin. And the foundation of that digital twin is the digital twin of the product. And that digital twin of the product is normally started in a CAD tool like NX. So the reason why we're here today is we believe that the future of product design is immersive. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, so thank you very much. My name is Ben Widowson, and I'm the head of marketing for immersive engineering at Siemens. <clears throat> so big question, why aren't we there yet? And by there, I mean this particular scene from Iron Man 1. Um, I remember back in 2007 when I first graduated from university. And I went to the uh, cinema with my wife, and we watched the first Iron Man film. And I can still remember watching this scene of Tony Stark developing the original Iron Man suit with a combination of AI, augmented reality, and um, using his voice to actually create the design. And I remember just sat there as a design engineer thinking, this is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, but here we are nearly 20 years on, and this still isn't quite the reality. And the big question is, why aren't we there yet? You know, it's been a long time since this scene. Well, I think that for design and engineering, there are a couple of really unique challenges for the adoption of XR that are different to some of the other uh, industries we've heard about today, like gaming and consumer uh, applications like watching movies. And the big thing is that unlike a game or a virtual walkthrough of a house, when you're in a design and engineering environment, the data is changing rapidly. You know, you've got hundreds of engineers working on thousands of components, and each of these could be changing multiple times per day. So if you think about most XR applications are created by third parties. So for a designer or an engineer to actually make use of that, they have to export the data out of the CAD system, import it into this tool, maybe a game engine, do a lot of work, such as applying materials and optimizing the geometry. And this all takes a lot of time and effort. And as the data changes, they would have to do that all again. So for the average designer sat at their desk designing a product, this just makes it non-viable. It's just too time consuming. Uh, and also, if you think about once that data is exported from their secure CAD tool, the data is that no longer managed, which from an IP perspective is a huge concern for these IT teams. So for me, this is the number one challenge why XR technologies just have not been adopted as widely as we'd hoped in the product and engineering space. So changing tack slightly, I'm going to talk a little bit about our partnership with Sony and how we're looking to address some of these problems. So Sony is first and foremost a customer of Siemens, and they've been using our CAD tools for a number of years to develop all the products you know and love, like the PlayStation, their cameras, televisions. And when they switched to moving NX, which is our CAD system, they saw a 30% productivity boost in their design teams. So their engineering teams were thinking and looking to the future, OK, well, what's that next step for design productivity within Sony? And they were really focused on wanting three things. It was increasing productivity of, their, productivity of their designers. Number two, it was being able to digitalize their prototype processes rather than making physical prototypes. They wanted to do more digitally. And also, like any big company, they have distributed designers and engineers in different offices across Japan and also globally. And they wanted to be able to have these guys collaborate around the same digital twin more easily. So they approached us a couple of years ago and pitched the idea of creating this new mixed reality headset specifically for design and engineering workflows. And Sony really see themselves as bringing this rich heritage of hardware design, and in particular for this device, 
a background in creating very high-end displays, which are used in the uh, headset. Also, the sensing technology from their cameras, which they've used in the headset as well. And finally, motion tracking, which they've used in the controllers. And I'll talk more about all those things in a moment. So they thought that by combining all of this hardware expertise with Siemens' 50-year history of creating industry software, that they could start to create a fully integrated XR solution. And I'm going to talk more about that now. So we call this solution immersive engineering. And I'm going to play a quick video for you now that talks about the hardware, and then I'll come back and talk a bit more in detail. Welcome to the next generation of 3D content creation. Introducing the technology and features of a headset that unleashes your creativity and enables immersive engineering. The transformative head-mounted display has 1.3-inch OLED micro displays with 4K resolution per eye. Our proprietary lens and optical system achieve a balance between lightweight and compact design whilst maintaining high-definition image fidelity. Furthermore, it offers a resolution comparable to the visual precision of the human eye. This enables real-time and precise capture of form, color, and texture, facilitating detailed design workflows. Supporting natural content creation in mixed reality, RGB cameras are positioned along the same optical axis as the human eye. In addition, four tracking sensors accurately detect spatial information. Equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 processor, it creates an incredibly natural mixed reality experience. Move beyond the limitations of physical screens to a borderless immersive workspace with the virtual monitor. Two controllers can be effortlessly manipulated within the virtual space. The lightweight ring controller worn on the index finger allows for agile operability, accommodating keyboard input even while worn. Equipped with an integrated gyro sensor, the manipulation of virtual objects is intuitive and effortless. The pointing controller fits snugly in the hand and is designed for precise object modeling workflows. Built-in haptics provide feedback, supporting spatial awareness in the virtual space and enabling precise modeling. The display unit can be adjusted forwards and backwards, even when wearing glasses. The design's carefully balanced center of gravity reduces strain on the body and ensures comfort during extended use. The display unit can be effortlessly flipped up with just one hand to seamlessly transition you between real and virtual spaces. Transforming how you experience designs through vision and touch. Driving innovation for a new era of engineering. So, we really believe it's this combination of Sony's cutting-edge hardware with Siemens' uh, industry software that allows this really natural and intuitive way to interact with CAD data. So, there's two components, like I've mentioned. There's Siemens software, which we call NX Immersive Designer, and there's Sony's XR head-mounted display. And I'm just going to dive deeply into each one quickly uh, as we move forward. So, first up, the software, NX Immersive Designer. NX Immersive Designer allows you to really combine the real and the digital for the most natural way to interact with the digital twin. As I mentioned before, because it's integrated directly into the CAD system, we have this seamless workflow between the engineering data that you're working on every moment of the day and the immersive view. So no longer do you have to export data in and out of tools. You can launch it directly from the CAD system and have this really seamless experience 
which works great when the data is changing rapidly. There's no kind of problems about uh, re-importing and re-exporting. And by having a human scale digital twin of something like a race car or a boat or a product or a building, you can actually kind of stand up and experience your product at human scale, which is really important for these large scale objects. But even you know, small objects on your desk, if you want to inspect them closely, being able to see a full 3D representation of that is incredibly useful from a design perspective. And then finally, as we mentioned before, the ability to connect remote teams to collaborate on these products. You know, most of these products are not designed by a single human being. They're designed by teams, and often they're distributed. So being able to see the same digital twin, whether you're in the same location or even in different rooms, is incredibly powerful when you're coming to making decisions. So next up, I'm going to have a little bit of more of a deep dive into the hardware itself. So the Sony XR head-mounted display. The first thing that I mentioned before is that Sony have a rich heritage in developing these high-resolution displays. So each display has 4K resolution per eye, and this is you know, up there with some of the highest resolution displays on the market. Um, and this is combined with their proprietary lens system to provide a really high-fidelity display. Next up are the four tracking sensors on the outside of the device, and these are used for detecting spatial information, uh, particularly important when you're using video see-through mode. And this is all powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 processor, uh, which is the state-of-the-art chip for XR processing. Next, something that Sony's incredibly proud of is the two unique controllers that they've created specifically for design and engineering workflows. So first up, we have the ring controller, which can accommodate still using a mouse and keyboard, which is the traditional way that most engineers are creating parts in CAD. Uh, so you don't have to take it on and off. But you can also interact with the virtual monitors and also pick up and interact with the virtual objects as well. So it's kind of at your fingertips while you're designing. Next up is the pointing controller. And this allows for very precise selection and editing of CAD geometry, uh, which is incredibly important to designers. And it's built with haptic feedback to help with that uh, feedback when you're actually making changes to the models. So this combination of tools allows for a very intuitive and accurate way to interact with your CAD data. Next up is the headset itself. Um, so it's very well balanced uh, for longer extended periods of use, particularly during a design workflow. Um, it accommodates people who wear glasses, so you can move the display back and forward easily. Uh, you don't have to take your glasses off. And you can easily flip up the visor to reconnect with people in the real world without taking the entire headset off. So we, we, between the hardware and the software here, we've tried to solve as many of the barriers to entry for designers and engineers to use these kind of tools on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to change direction slightly and talk about some of the early access customer feedback we've had, starting with a company called Nautilus. So Nautilus is a startup aviation company based out of San Diego. And they are creating this innovative blended wing body design aircraft, both for freight uses and also for passenger aircraft. Um, so the innovative design of the body means that there's a greater volume on the inside, so they can transport more cargo per flight, which reduces the overall operating costs and reduces the fuel consumption. cool stuff. So we gave Nautilus an advanced preview of the technology earlier this year, and they had some incredibly interesting uh, early insights, which we've 
carried forward into some of our materials here today, so I'm going to share those with you now. The first insight was that they really saw immersive engineering as a way for their designers and engineers to actually enhance the workflow when they're creating parts. So being able to see a virtual representation of the part while they're making those design changes really gives you that kind of sense of reality when you're creating it, rather than just working on a 2D screen. And this is all enabled by the unique controllers from Sony. Next up, being able to actually experience the aircraft at human scale. So at this point, they are going through FAA certification. They've not yet built a full plane. But when we first put the headset on their engineers, they were able to see the full-sized plane at human scale. Uh, and the reaction was kind of like, holy, I've never actually seen our plane in this scale before. It's incredible. Uh, and the engineers were kind of diving immediately into you know, inspecting the space where the wiring could go and coming up with immediate design changes. So that was for me, incredible that they weren't really focused on the headset, they were more focused on their own product. Uh, next up, for Nautilus, one of their big use cases is transportation of freight. So their customers are companies like FedEx, U UPS, um, and being able to show their customers how their unique cargo containers can be laid out within the body of the plane has enabled them to have really productive conversations with these customers, and it's helped lead towards some of their early orders for, for the vehicle. And then finally, being able to bring non-CAD users, non-engineer designers into the conversation earlier. So particularly uh, stakeholders from the shop floor and manufacturing, being able to bring them into a collaborative session with the designers and engineers to see how these parts are going to be assembled, how they're going to go together, and do that validation before they commit to you know, properly manufacturing things is a huge uh, time saver and ultimately ends up with a better product. I'm not going to read all of these, but a couple of other comments we've had from events we've been at this year. There's one in particular that stands out for me from one of our other aerospace customers at the bottom right, which is, you know, many companies, companies have invested already in a lot of dedicated infrastructure, like a lab or a VR room for uh, designers to come and use. And they immediately saw this as a way to kind of get this technology into the hands of everyday designers onto their desk, rather than having to have a dedicated room that they had to book out and come and spend time on. Um, so we, we see this as a real way to democratize the technology to the everyday designer. So a quick summary. We really see this combination of Siemens software and Sony's hardware uh, to create the most natural and intuitive way to interact with CAD data. And it's this combination of NX Immersive Designer and Sony's XR head-mounted display which are going to enable this. Um, we are launching with a uh, CAD-based solution at the end of the year, uh, but we do plan to expand support for the device across more of the Siemens portfolio to include things like simulation and manufacturing. So the key aspects of the solution from the software perspective is that tight integration into the CAD tool. So no export of data, keep it in your secure environment. It's accessible at your fingertips every day. Being able to easily combine the real and the digital to reduce the physical prototyping and also to have this borderless workspace where you can interact with the digital twin at human scale and also with this huge virtual monitor for shared experiences. And on the, software, on the hardware side from Sony, we have the super high resolution displays, the very accurate sensors for spatial tracking, the unique controllers specifically for design and engineering workflows, and the comfortably balanced headset which can flip up and easily reconnect you with the real world. So we come back to the question, when will we get there? Well, I think now more than ever, we are closer than ever to being able to design like this. Um, we're not quite there yet, but I think that in the very near future, we will see designers and engineer, engineers being able to design like Tony Stark in Iron Man. And I hope that for those engineers, this is incredibly inspiring and brings more people into our industry just in the way it did for me uh, nearly 20 years ago. So as I mentioned earlier, we'll be releasing pre-orders for the device for Siemens customers uh, in December. And if you'd like to learn more about that and when the availability is coming, uh, feel free to check out our website. And I'll also be hanging around at the end to answer any questions. Thank you very much for your time.